Remember the Enron tapes? Enron workers were heard manipulating the California energy shortage a few years back and gloating over it. Federal en energy regulators now say Enron made more than a billion and a half dollars off that shortage. And today, more audio and documents surfaced. The first to indicate the scamming and scheming started years earlier than we previously knew. CBS's Vince Gonzalez gives you the inside story. During the West Coast power crisis, homes went dark and streetlights were out in California, causing injuries and accidents. But the danger didn't stop Enron's energy traders from having a good laugh. They had to do a rolling blackout through the town and there was a red light there, you didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm like, they're causing, this is causing animosity throughout the state now. <laughs> Cars are blowing up. Newly released evidence shows years before the crisis, Enron schemed to manipulate markets. The new tapes, routinely recorded by Enron to protect their own deals and later obtained by this small utility in Washington state, confirm what CBS News has been reporting for four years. That Enron secretly shut down power plants so they could cause and then cash in on the crisis. Uh, we want you guys to get a little creative okay. and come up with a reason to go down. That's Plant good. operators were coached on how to lie to officials. Just call them, hey guys, you know, finish our queue after coming down. Okay, so we're just coming down for some maintenance, like a forced outage type thing. Right. And that's cool. Hopefully. <laughs> Enron also pulled power out of states like California, causing emergency conditions to worsen. Sorry, California, I'm bringing all my power out of the state. Today I moved out six, over 600 megawatts. The shutdowns and pullouts triggered sky-high power prices. We're just making money and over fifth. And when states complained... Get a f***ing clue. Yeah, leave us alone, let us make a little bit of money. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. When the schemes began to unravel, employees blamed the men running Enron. Well, I told you they were all crooks. I just didn't know how much. I, as far as I'm concerned, nothing happened in Enron that Ken Lay didn't blast. But former CEO Ken Lay, in this Enron training tape obtained by CBS News, had a different message. Enron is a company uh, that deals with everyone with absolute integrity. A federal grand jury didn't buy it. Lay has been indicted, and the tapes could be used against him. A company spokesperson would only say Enron continues to cooperate with all ongoing investigations. Vince Gonzalez, CBS News, Los Angeles.